it just comes crashing down on you. So uh, it's amazing, you know, what you go through and you think, I'm never going to see a light at the end of the tunnel, but because of where I've been coming here, it, yeah, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Um, I didn't know what was going on. I never knew, I've never known what anxiety is. Had it my whole life. I, didn't, I just thought that was life. Didn't even know. Um, it just got worse and worse and worse. So I was diagnosed, but you've got anxiety. Like, what even, what is it? Uh, I did go to doctors and things like that. Um, they say that you're at a certain age, 45 is not old. They just want to put you on medication. They reckon that's how you are when you get to that age. Uh, I said no, would not take it. Uh, I actually was, I actually forced myself to take it, made me worse. Um, yeah, I, I just got to a point where I thought, well, this is it. This is this is the end of my life. You know, you know, 45. That's it. You know, and then yeah, f- found out that you know, this place, and yeah, it's just helped helped ever since. Never never had a problem in my life. Um, just hit me like a ton of bricks. So pretty much can happen to anyone. I've always sort of laughed and and I feel a bit rude now about mental health issues I've heard someone with mental health issues I'd say what's wrong with you you know this that that doesn't exist it does exist Uh, suicidal thoughts never had them in my life Um, just just took over my life Uh, that's all you can think about day in day out Um, yeah just 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 wears you down Um, luckily I as soon as I had these thoughts I I spoke to my partner Um, you know had to work through it because it just wasn't wasn't me um yeah it was just very very confronting why it was going on um yeah it just puts you in a, in a state what you just wouldn't believe what your, your your mind can actually do to you i was on some what they say expensive medication um yeah it just basically made me feel like crap the whole time like this big dark cloud was following me and it just did not want want to make you feel any better that's how you're going to feel for the rest of your life and i i they said, you haven't got to wean it off it. Uh, five weeks, I just threw it in the bin. That was the end of that. Felt instantly better just giving that stuff up. So, yeah. Walked in, dribbling mess, crying. Uh, this is the end. There's no no future. Sat down, spoke to Kylie. She told me all about her life. And I, honestly, at the time, I didn't believe it. I thought, yeah, I'm just, you're just telling me what I want to hear. I, I walked out an hour later like, I feel good. I was waiting to feel bad. Didn't come back. Um, Kylie said I'm very lucky that I can absorb things in very quickly, and it did. And since then, yes, I've just pro- progressed forward ever since. Just it's just managing life a lot better. Um, yeah, it's a little bit hard to explain, but um, yeah, I just try to take everything on board. But what I don't want to, you know, keep in my mind, you just you just throw it away now and don't worry about it. It's not worth worrying about. Don't worry about it. Mm-hmm. Oh, and stress. Never thought stress was a big thing. Stress is a big thing. Try and get, you know, try not to stress about anything. Um, yeah, that's the, the main thing is getting rid of stress is the main thing. So you still have your ups and down. Like some days you just can't be bothered talking to people. Like, well, it's not that you're depressed or sad. You're just like, eh, I can't be bothered with you. You're not being rude to them. You just worry about yourself a bit more uh, instead of worrying about other people. I feel a bit rude that I say because I always like to help people out, but. You know, sometimes people's problems are like that's not worth worrying about. So you just move on. But yeah, sometimes I just, I just not that I can't be bothered. I'm a bit like I'm worried about myself today. I don't want to talk to anyone. And yeah, you, you know, your mood's always going to go up and down. I notice, but you know, you know, you're in control of of yourself the whole time. So yeah. where before I had no control over my mind, it was doing whatever it wanted to do. Yeah. yeah. So- Biggest thing I did, I didn't hold it back um i don't know why I'm, I'm one that don't i don't really talk to anyone but as soon as i had suicidal thoughts that night i spoke to my partner and said this is how i feel um we got onto it straight away um i didn't find this place for a good couple of weeks though and it just got worse and worse trying to help you know go with the doctors and stuff like that i'm not putting them down but you're there for five minutes they don't really know what's going on uh, you might feel all right when you're in the doctor's surgery at the time and no, no, I'm fine, but deep down it, it's, it's killing you on the inside. Basically, um, yeah, there is, there is hope. Um, I got to the point where I thought, no, nah, this, is, this is it. This is, this is my life. This is, this is the end of it. Um, by just coming here, yeah, it has 100%, 100% helped. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I don't know what it is. Um, I couldn't explain it to you. Very strange. I'm not a person that, you know... Like to step out of my comfort zone, but yeah, it's it's yeah, it, it works. Simple as that. It's worked for me. I got even two sessions in. Thought, well, that's that's all I need. 
then you think about them, well, you know, if it's a 12 week or 12 step, you know, system, you, you got to go through the whole lot just to make sure. And I come back now as well. I come back just once a month, sort of like a top up, just to make myself, you know, you know, things still get you down every now and again. But you think, ah, oh, you know, come here, listen to your audio. And yeah, just it's just a top up to strengthen your brain. And that's one thing I've found is making your brain, strengthen your brain back to where you were is, is the main thing and keep getting stronger and stronger. You might think you're fairly strong, but you, even myself, I still just need that little bit every now and again just to, you know, help me, help me get by. So, yeah. Mm. When you, you might go to the physio, you might not be in pain, but, you know, you still, or get a massage or something like that, you still look after your body. You know, we, we look after our dogs, we look after our cars, we don't look after our bodies and our, and, and our mind. Definitely our mind's probably the last thing you worry about. You've got to look after it, simple as that. I'm, I'm a very strong person, but the thoughts were ridiculous. I never had a plan in my mind what I was going to do. Uh, I just didn't want to think about it, but it just constantly attacks you all day long. There's more to life, you know. Life's it's a, it's a huge world out there. And don't don't give up, simple as that. Um, but yeah, the best thing to do is talk to someone. Just even as a guy, it doesn't you know, talk to your mates and like that. Um, I haven't told too many people, um, but if someone asks, and I'll tell them. I've picked a few people out, probably going through the same thing. You you sort of sense things after a while, so you think, oh, you know quickly better help them or something like that so it's not so much feelings it's 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 a mental health problem you gotta gotta get out there and you know you only have to say something to someone and hopefully that person can help you and point you in the right direction so people do people do care